Camp Newman has been home to hundreds of thousands of children and teens and families and adults of all ages for over seven decades. The Tubbs Fire in October 2017 came through the region and most of the Camp Newman uh, campus was destroyed by the fire. We were numb. We cried for about an hour. Um, and, then, and then we got to work. We realized that we're here for these kids, we're here for these families, we're here for the Jewish community, and we had to focus in on how to continue the mission of, of camp. I grew up at Camp Swig, and there's always been a feeling, both personal and from JCRC, of the idea that Camp Newman, as the successor of Camp Swig, is very much integrated into the broader community. Doug made sure to go straight over to Camp Newman, walk in the door, and ask how he could be in service to them. Ruben said, the first thing I need is to know that these kids will have a place to go next summer. He agreed, and he said, great, give me the parameters, and I will work with my JCRC community and my Jewish community to um, reach out and, and help find a place. Other camps or um, youth organizations weren't going to be feasible because they too have children during the summertime. But universities, we realized, are the perfect place because they are empty typically in the summertime. Abby and I divided up a list of about 15 places where we had built relationships through JCRC work over the years. To my husband, Jason, he mentioned Cal State Maritime, where he has some former colleagues who are working and where there's this incredible, beautiful setting on the water um, that would be a perfect alternative home for Camp Newman while they work to rebuild the place. The question came if we had space to accommodate perhaps a summer camp in the very, very near future. And my initial response was, of course. There was never a, oh, I don't know if we can, this is going to be really tough. It, no, we're, let's do what we need to do to make sure that this happens. We were just going to find a way to accommodate as best we could to achieve something for th these kids. It couldn't have been a better match than the one that was found at CSU Maritime. The fact that it was found on three days turnaround was utterly remarkable. And because of the relationships that JCRC has built, we were able to establish a home away from home here at Cal Maritime in less than three months. It's truly remarkable. When everyone got off the bus and we're singing and clapping and cheering and dancing and there's music playing in the background and there's signs everywhere and poster paints and they felt like, this is camp. They immediately moved from the sadness of their home being burned down to their love of what their home is all about. Everywhere you walked on campus, it just felt full of life. There were kids playing and making friends and, and falling in love with Judaism and falling in love with camp. It was really exciting to see all those kids here, the fun that they were having. The magic of camp was still here. Kids running around doing games and playing things and the chalk all over the sidewalk and the buildings, it, you know, you name it, it was here, but it was camp. That's what you're supposed to do. I was in a meeting and it sounded like an old Batman show outside, pow, bang. Ooh. My assistant throws the door up and says, like, do you want me to tell them to stop? No. We all came into work one day and I was informed by several of my staff that that stones are being painted, and they're all over campus. Our community is so used to being able to leave their mark in certain places that, uh, that they immediately saw these beautiful landscaping rocks and decided it would be a great program to paint on some of these rocks. These are natural things that happen with, with children, right? They want to paint things. Absolutely, this is a great thing to paint. Sometimes we'd find them in the middle of sidewalks or in the middle of our quad. And every morning, the Cal Maritime maintenance crew 
shook their heads and smiled and lugged them back to the barrier. Shabbat services at Camp Newman are the pinnacle of the week. Our services start out slowly with music and then they build and kids are reading beautiful poems and singing songs that they've written. And seeing everyone in the whole community join together for that night is, it's just a really special moment. One of our officers attended a Shabbat and was so moved by the interactions he had and watching the celebrations that he decided that was where he wanted to stand his watch <laughs> every Friday. So they weren't just a campus with a, with a client. They were our friends that we were, we were sharing the summer with. From the moment we stepped on the grounds, we felt a level of warmth and hospitality uh, that I've rarely ever seen. This partnership and friendship that developed between our staff and the Camp Newman staff and even the campers was such that we were just going to find a way to accommodate these kids. Everything was about flexibility and finding a way to make things work. There is almost no way to uh, overstate how grateful our entire community is to CSU Maritime. This year, for the first time ever, we're giving a partnership award. We wanted to really highlight this remarkable and very exciting relationship that has deepened and made more meaningful the mission of each of the institutions. This is quite an honor, and um, again, it's, it's a friend uh, to a friend award, and we uh, are very appreciative that we're recognized in this way. We wanted to do something good and we appreciate the fact that we're being honored to do something good and being recognized for it. In life, often you do the right thing and that's what you do. And you don't expect recognition. And so when it does come for doing the right thing, it matters. So much of this story and this miracle is a classic story of the impact that JCRC um, has on the community. This is what JCRC does every day. We see huge challenges out there in the community and we use our very unique community relations approach to bring people together who wouldn't otherwise know one another. The whole Jewish community stepped up in a way that, that really has been so moving to this day. The URJ, our leadership, our lay leaders, it was one of our driving forces in, in being able to move forward this past summer and being able to move forward with our rebuild. I'm happy to see the work of so many people on our campus to make it right, to help Camp Newman succeed. Gets a little light of day. Watching campers laugh and have fun and learn new skills and live the joys of, of Jewish camping like they have for, for decades. You can see reflected in their faces just how much they love camp. I didn't want them to miss that, and I don't think anyone on our campus did either. We put our arms around each other, and we just looked at each other and said, we did it. This took a long time and a lot of people, but we made this happen. This